Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at another Red Dragon keyboard, a recent release. Isa? Isa? I know I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm going to say, because I think Liza. So Isa. Does that, that sound right? I don't know. This could be an existing character. And I'm not, I'm not up with my anime. My anime consists of um, Akira and Vampire Hunter D, and Gundam, and Macross, so I'm a little behind, so please excuse me on that. This is the K686 AK, not sure what that stands for, RGB Pro, so it's a three-mode 98 key, looks like, a, looks like an 1800 uh, layout here, and it has a knob, and it definitely has some interesting... Uh, keycaps on it definitely has a style so i'm gonna guess that this is uh an existing character it could be a waifu that they've created i don't know but let's find out so let's go ahead and just jump into it all right before we take a look at the keyboard let's see what we've got in the box we have a manual which i'm sure that we'll go over here in a little bit and we have ooh. Some spare switches. Thank you. Red Dragon always does this, and I really appreciate it. But these look to be new. I have not seen these before. We have a standard wire switch and keycap puller. And we have a rubberized USB-A to USB-C with an elbow cable. So, connectors probably on this. Just taking a quick look at these switches. These are Otomu. Oh, this is a nice, slightly long pole linear with a very crisp and enjoyable bond. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to like this keyboard. I'm already liking the switch. And here we are with Isa, the Red Dragon K686AK-RGB uh, Pro keyboard and i gotta say it's got a nice weight to it it's definitely got an interesting look i like the uh, graphics on it we've got two sets of feet here ah i was gonna say where is the our, uh, the 2.4 but there it is there's a pocket on the side we've got a really beautiful artwork on the bottom and we actually have some very interesting keycap sets, uh, or keycaps. Looks like they're in the OEM profile. I'm going to say that they're die sub because of all of the colors that we've got here. Yeah, they've got to be die sub. Yeah, these are definitely die. 1.5 millimeter. Ha ha ha. 1.5 millimeter. Red Dragon is definitely stepping up their game when it comes to keycaps and when it comes to switches. It also looks like. We have a PC plane. Oh, wow. Not only do we have a PC plate, we have flex cuts. We have IXPE. And we also have PET. Red Dragon is stepping up their game. I mean, we still got north facing, but that's not a big deal in my book. Well, I can honestly say that this is going on my desk as soon as I'm done with uh, uh, the review and the production. That this is going, this is going to be my daily driver. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. All right. So on the other side, that's where we've got the connector. That's why we've got that elbow. Um, on the side, we've got our 2.4, our Bluetooth, our off, our Mac and Windows. Yeah, it's a nice combination of switches of the construction with the plate as well as the keycaps. Everything just comes together to and beautiful uniformity. I, honestly, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Let's see what it looks like with the lights on. Oh, I've got to come over here.
All right, we have decent RGB, but because of the uh, construction of the switches, not a lot of it's coming through, but that's really not that big of a deal. All right, so this does brightness. If we do function and press, do function and press again, goes back to volume. All right, so we've got that. We've got an indicator for the num lock. We've got an indicator for uh, the caps lock, and I'm going to guess that that M is for the Windows and Mac mode. Let me see. How do you switch over? Or it could mean that it's on wired or on wireless. Oh, yeah, that's mode indicator. All right, so let's give that a shot. Let's unplug it here. Let's take out the dongle on the side of the keyboard. Let's go ahead and put it in 2.4 gigahertz mode and plug this in. We've got a pink. That's instant with a 2.4. Yeah. No lag whatsoever. I just, I really like how this sounds. I gotta say, I really like how this sounds. So if we put it into Bluetooth. All right, so it's blue for Bluetooth and it's pink for 2.4. And, oh, yeah, good job, Red Dragon. Even though it's a little faint in there, you can see that it actually has the Red Dragon logo um, imprinted in there, perhaps. But, so, if, if we happen to lose it and come across it, we're going to know that it goes to a Red Dragon keyboard. Yeah, there's no Mac or Windows indicator if I switch the mode switch here. But, I've got to say, this is definitely... Um, if not only the best looking, I'm not usually a, the biggest fan of a whole bunch of graphics all over the place, but I like this one. It, it has it has a style that just works for me. Yeah, that's delete. So it's set up the way that I like it. Has enough keys for me to do everything without having to do any remapping first, even though you can do remapping because it has the pro version of the software. Um, it would have been nice to have some extra keys to say, hey, you know, I want standard enter or standard cap or whatever. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I'll take a look at these stabilizers real quick. Yeah, this switch is definitely part of the reason why it sounds so good. We got some plate mounted stabilizers that are definitely uh, <laughs> well greased, um, to put it lightly. And yeah, that seems to be a clear PC plate. But there doesn't seem to be any possibility for screwing stabilizers. Um, but there you can see the PET sheet as well as the IXP right above it. The stabilizers are a bit loose. They could use probably a small piece of tape, but they aren't that loose, as loose as I've seen some. And despite that little bit of looseness, they sound sound ready to go. This is a uh, a ready-to-go keyboard though that doesn't mean I don't want to mod it I want to try some different switches in it some different keycaps and maybe even take out the plate and PCB foam and see if I can get it a little bit louder I think it would be an interesting keyboard to mod but this is definitely I've got to say Red Dragon you guys really did a good job on this keyboard it is the best Red Dragon that I have reviewed to date like I said I'm gonna turn this into my daily driver for now and I, I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy using it. The only thing is the OEM keycaps, but I'll probably switch those out. Um, and I'm interested in the switches because you guys didn't put a name on there. But putting in the, the material of the plate, the material of the keycaps, and um, what switches you're using if they're not standard, really go a long way on your product description page. Just the specs. Today we took a look at the Red Dragon K686 8K RGB Pro ISA, an 1800 free mode keyboard. It has a gasket mounted PC plate with flex cuts 
and a 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatible north facing PCB. It includes dampening both between the plate and the PCB and below the PCB, as well as IXPE and PET layers on the PCB. They come preloaded with lubed long pole Otemu linear switches and die sub PVT OEM keycaps in a Waifu anime style. It comes weighing in at 924 grams with its 3000 milliamp hour battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 19 millimeters while the back sits at 27 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of six degrees. Holding out the first set of included feet, we'll take the back up to 35 millimeters and give you a typing angle of nine degrees. Flipping down the last set of feet, we'll take the back up to 42 millimeters and change your angle of typing to 12 degrees. This keyboard currently manufactured retails for $59.99 on Red Dragon's site. Links below. Well, what can I say? I really like this keyboard. I mean, it's it, it it's by far, in my opinion, the best keyboard Red Dragon has put out uh, so far. Um, the fact that it's only $59, I think it's pretty good. I mean, yes, I know there's some aluminum keyboards out there, but you're going to be looking at um, more bare bone prices in this range. But for a fully loaded keyboard ready to go that sounds good stock for $59 bucks, with this level, with the, I mean, with the features it has. I mean, we got three mode connectivity. We've got gasket mounting, PC plate, IXPE, PET, um, nice lube switches, nice keycaps, though I'm probably going to switch them out. I mean, I really, I really like this keyboard and I do want to open it up and, and see how I can mod it and see what kind of difference I can make to it. I like this keyboard and I can recommend it. And like I said, I'm going to enjoy using it and I'll come back soon enough with a mod as well as a report of how well it's it's been acting as I use it. But before I go, I'd love to hear your comments, your suggestions, any ideas for mods you'd like me to do to this keyboard or any or anything that you'd like me to to look at when I go ahead and open it up. Please leave them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like and a subscribe truly goes a long way and I greatly appreciate it. But until the next transmission, Keep calm and keyboard on.